Hey folks, I'm here with Adam. You guys mo mostly know him as Eonix, and he's showing off Astroneer. How are you today? How are you enjoying PAX? Really good, we're on day three. There have been a lot of people that have seen the game. Right. Uh, I'm ready to chop my feet off at the ankle. <laughs> but that's, a, that's an okay problem to have, you know? It's, that just means that we're moving around a lot, talking about the game a lot. As you can see, there's quite a bit of, oh, there's quite a bit of people here. Sorry for that. See that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been going really good. Awesome, so for people who don't know, what is Astroneer? What is it? What are you doing? Uh, the, the simplest way to say it is a, in a game about interplanetary exploration, okay. or it's more like an exploration sandbox. Okay. We do have some survival mechanics, but we're really interested in that, you know, being alone on a planet as an astronaut, exploring it, looking for these minerals that are required back on Earth, uh, trade with other players. You know, we're not building a game that's adversarial, we're building a game that's more cooperative in that. Okay. Sort of like what you see now with the space programs that you see between like ESA, right. uh, NASA, SpaceX, everybody's kind of working together. So we're trying to build a game that makes that accessible. Okay. Awesome, now I'm looking at the game and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank it's not, the, not really realistic, but a highly aesthetic yeah. uh, game. What was the, the reasoning behind that? So uh, Paul and I, are, we both come from the AAA realm, where we spend a lot of time on like high res art, it takes a long time to produce it. With Astroneer, going after that low poly uh, cosmetic or aesthetic, uh, that really makes it we can bang out art really quickly. Right. Uh, one of the things you might notice is that we actually don't have any textures in the game. Yeah. So that means that we can actually like read a comment that seems like really interesting online, and like in an hour turn it around and get it in the game. Right. Whereas if we were doing that sort of workflow that we were used to on AAA, that might take you know a couple of days to a week just to get that in there. Right. So it, it, this allows for rapid iteration, which is really important when there's only five people working on the game. Yeah. Awesome. Now. Who is this game for? Like, is this for like the Call of Duty audience? Is it for kids? Is it for adults? Who can really play Astroneer? Uh, my hope is that anybody can play Astroneer. Uh, we just had a, a you know an older couple came by and check it out. We had a family of four that I think their kids were seven and four. Okay. We actually had a chair set up for them that they could stand on and play. You know, myself, I have two children, so I want them to play the game. But also, I'm in my 30s and I want to play the game. So right. we're trying to reach out to that to anybody that's interested in space. That's why we're trying to make it. Uh, through Astroneer, we're trying to make space an accessible topic. Right. So we take ideas from reality whenever we can, but we don't do it as a simulator. We think games like Kerbal Space Program do a fantastic job of that. So we're just trying to make that idea accessible so that then we can get onto the things like uh, planetary exploration, uh, terrain deformation, things like that. Okay. Awesome, and when can players finally get their hands on Astroneer? We are shooting for a release uh, end of summer, early fall this year. We're gonna be uh, Steam Early Access, PC Mac, uh, hopefully Mac, uh, as well as Linux. Uh, our programmers use Macs, so I, I would be, be surprised if we don't come out on Mac. Uh, and then once we're out, we'll just see where it goes from there. We'll build the game with the community. Uh, we would love to see it on consoles, mouse and keyboard, controller support. Okay. Awesome. Yonix, thank you so much for thank your time. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For more content like this, head over to shacknews.com.